you know, and this is a small platform. I consider this to be a small platform, but whoever does hear my voice, I just want you to be able to at least understand those of us, right, that are going to be or that have been separated, uprooted, because that's what it feels like. You feel like you're literally uprooted. And, uh, but you know what? I have faith that it's all going to work for the best. I pray, I pray to God that all of our governments are ready to really just receive whoever needs to be received and just make a better and greater nation of our own nations because man shoot if there's a sole reason why i do this to make mexico great again or you know yeah because we were always great um before all this nonsense and being colonized shoot i mean our ancestors really had it y'all look back on our mexican you know mexica history we are some smart motherfuckers y'all we are <laughs> We're some just legit trabajadores. Like we have everything. We have culture. We have man, riches, everything. We have everything to succeed. So why are we so scared? Like if you're a person, you're being, man, if you're feeling like you're scared and everything, man, don't be afraid, man. Now more than ever, and I, I'm telling you, you have to believe me as a deportee has been here, man, 20 years. Um, uh, 2025 is going to be 20 years. I got deported in summer of 2005 and i can tell you out of all this time that i've been here this is the best time to be here now is the best time to be here you know some of us took the l and shoot <laughs> made our ways through and and are now here telling you how to go about it so you could come out here and really just have it a lot more easy because even the government now is going to make it easier for you y'all don't be afraid god is god is in control he's always no matter who's in government you know god is in control welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's doing good when you catch this video so friends today i wanted to come um on here and just share my thoughts on the u.s elections y'all and it took me a few days because my emotions were running so high <laughs> and i did share a little bit on that here and some of the responses that i got from the people too because um that I really didn't expect. Um, and I think everybody was just feeling all kinds of ways, right? And it's very understandable because it's such a difficult, you know, topic for so many people. And, you know, you guys know that if you followed me for a while, you know that I've been here, you know, just doing content like this for a while uh, concerning this very situation, right? Um, being the being deported and, and having to start life over in Mexico and how hard that is. And this is why I sympathize so much with everybody that's going through this. And of course I have a soft, you know, spot <laughs> for all the families that are gonna be unfortunately going through this, you know, um, very soon. And, but at the same time, also understand the whys to why people voted the way that they did. And today I wanted to just speak a little on, on all, all ends, right? On what I mostly just understood from the people that I spoke to, right? People that I really care about, um, some of them even like being family members and just even messages that i received from people back home that i either grew up with or that i did time with that were like annie listen i know you're hurting but you know this and this and this is going on and believe me like what i tell you like all my you know fellow texans right and you know just the feels of yeah just so much uncertainty going on in the country i think just in general um in so many areas and it's just concerning because I mean, yeah, like, I honestly, I never thought that I would ever, like, y'all you know, ever see the U.S. in this condition and, and just and just different things, like, just people being so divided and everything just being so polarized. And, um, and it feels like, in a way, like, it's just going back, like, 50 years. So I'll be sharing my thoughts on this as a deportee, as a Mexican, right, and a former Texan. And um, as a believer, because um, I know that we all have a different take on this. And again, I understand all sides. And um, I hope you guys give me the opportunity to at least explain myself in this situation. Because I did get a lot of like, just like backlash for this, y'all. Um, and I'll be explaining why as a believer, I, I take my stance still on this. Okay, so first of all, as a deportee, y'all. Um, man um yeah of course i'm hurting really bad y'all um for everything that's gonna happen i've lived through just 
the consequences of just having a very strict, you know, uh, US system. And I would say, you know, and I'm gonna, you know, boldly say that I was a victim of the US criminal justice uh, system in the sense that, you know, I did get tried for a, a, a crime that I didn't commit. The way that it was just so fast, I didn't have a right representation. I was not even given the right information. I got my green card taken away and I didn't even know until it was already done and over with. And just the way that the whole deportation process, like I know firsthand how it is I know what it's like to be deported at two o'clock in the morning, you know, being a woman at the same time I was so young. I was like 18, 19. I was 18 the first time. And then I think I was like 20 or 21. I don't remember the second time. Um, both times in the middle of the night, you know, and luckily in my town, but not all people, you know, have that luck. So there's so much that that is involved, you know, um, when it comes to this, it's not just like, oh, we're going to deport them all. It's like, no, nah, like the whole <laughs> process of it can be just very tra tra traumatic, you know, and um, and threatening because uh, many people even are coming down to nothing that they've ever known before. So it's just like a whole, it's just a whole, you know, grieving process. And you guys know I've spoken on this before, but, you know, just on the immigrants, um itself and this new wave of Im immigrants that is so different than us and like even the people that went about it the right way and the people that still haven't been able to fix their status because you know um i think this is where the outrage came in right from specifically people that have either suffered deportation that have been victims of just a very rigid like just strict system that just will not let them you know um become you know legal citizens and then you have these newcomers that are just coming in and taking it all just you know all the help and you know it feels like to them it's not fair this is what i just kept hearing from like other immigrants and you know the 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 latino and and the mexican voters the hispanic voters you know they went red because they were just angry that they had to go through all these things and you know you guys y'all even my son y'all he was one of them and i was so hurt i was so incredibly hurt i wanted to really just like <laughs> just reach over and like <laughs> just be like what is wrong with you you know like shake him a little bit <laughs> this six foot two kid right like what is wrong he was just upset he's like listen you paid a high price you paid the highest price we've gone through hell and back and you're telling me that these people are just coming in and getting it all like off our backs no he's like f everybody like he was upset and we're upset for different reasons of course you know even though i was pregnant with him when i was incarcerated and everything that happened right um he still doesn't really know right what it's like being in the system so for me it was heartbreaking and for him he was just being selfish thinking about me and thinking about everybody else that's had a hard time you know so it's just like that's the reason why people voted the way that they did and i i mean like after day five i guess i stopped being mad at him but i was like how could you how could you i was just <laughs> we had this at first i was like you know what i respect it and i was like okay but then like after a few days we did have this like very heated conversation y'all <laughs> And I was like, I am never going back, especially because he was supposed to, he wanted to, like my family's been so persistent, insisting y'all, even though my sister's going to law school, y'all. This has, when I tell you, this has greatly impacted my family, greatly, like it really has. And you know, when he's like, no, you are coming back, I'm bringing you back. Like, I don't care what you say, I'm bringing you back. And he was supposed to be petitioning me in this, term and i'm just like no i am not like it was just oh my god like emotions were just like at an all-time high it was just crazy and you know i did have this conversation with my mom too you know she was just she was just very just conflicting too inside like she was just she was like any i voted you know for the democratic party all my life but the way that they did us this last term it was just so like just betraying to us the hispanic community that's 
that's paid the price all these years like she was like i cannot even vote like at, like she was i think i think she skipped out on this one y'all she was like i cannot vote trump she's like and i will not vote you know again for this nonsense because you know going back to this, the texas really just y'all they've had it like they've really like they've really had it these past few years like you know taking just really over just you know the i guess the jobs and like just people have even gone as far as like saying it feels like like the plagas in the bible right that that came in and you know they're bringing in all this just crime and you know um even like just their gods because they they worship certain things my mom was telling me about this y'all i don't know this is just i'm just going off of things that they're saying so you have to remember that the u.s is a very you know it's actually like a god-based you know country so you know people are just feeling threatened like i think we would all feel threatened and now that i just have sat down and really just thought on and i'm like okay I, I guess i get it you know y'all so um to just finish this off y'all as a believer y'all oh my god so um of course you know i do question like you know why so many people voted the way that they did because in a way i understand because of course you know you know all these woke movements are just so just so harmful to the to the family values and for the longest even from out here in mexico i've been seeing we've been seeing that the like the whole world is watching you guys we're watching and we watch when you guys are out of control and we watch when you guys are really just trying to fight for something right and i understand like i do understand y'all and um i think was just to me the reason why i can't just side with that and i felt this like even like a little bit of rage i'm not gonna lie and the celo santo that i keep telling you about is because i do feel like many times you know god's name is used in vain and you can't preach love and you can't preach you know i mean jesus was an immigrant right he would have been deported <laughs> y'all um his mom was in a very vulnerable you know position situation whatever and she had she needed help and to me like that's what the gospel is so also the fact that you know i was i was um made or forced to uh live a, relig a religion when i was a young girl when i was a teenage girl and just being forced into something and and having you know been stripped away from the very even basic human right right like wearing a pair of jeans and wearing a swimsuit to go swimming because you know when when i lived with my dad you know throughout some teenage years and he was you know pentecostal and you know we couldn't wear pants we couldn't wear jewelry we couldn't do our makeup we couldn't cut our hair we couldn't watch tv we couldn't go to the movies we couldn't you know listen to worldly music we couldn't paint our nails we couldn't go swimming in like regular you know swimwear we had to wear long skirts to go swimming like when i tell you that i know how it feels to be like pressured and put and forced into something y'all that's a terrible feeling like as believers it should not be like that we should never force anybody into anything we have to respect people's stand stance on this um and know that that's even god does that like we can't decide over anybody and as a nurse even even as a nurse y'all um you know when it comes to medical terms and and um just treatments y diagnosticos y todo, todas esas cosas it's really all it all comes down to patient doctor it has to be between like patient doctor it's just bottom line you know um we can't you know it's even like even in the nursing profession like we're not allowed to persuade on anything so um we're the professionals here <laughs> i'm just gonna say that y'all um nobody else can really just say on this and this is just me as a nurse now right i have to protect my patients too like even here in mexico y'all i mean if i were to have like a and i've had miscarriages before i've had two miscarriages before before each one of my sons so both of my sons are rainbow babies what people say rainbow babies come after a pregnancy loss and 
both times one of them i was in the states and i was able to go this is when i was in spring branch right before catching my case with this guy that i was that i got in trouble with y'all and my very first pregnancy was was with this guy and um i haven't spoken on that here right and i don't speak on this a lot but because it's a very controversial topic and a very like touchy subject right um i i share on it not as much right um but yes i've been through this and i was able to get medical care out there and when it happened here i was already with my husband when i first met my husband i got pregnant and i, I had a miscarriage at two three months that i remember and um i was also able to get what we call here le grados right so just the thought of me not able not being able to get that help i mean as a woman i'm just like how can anybody just vote in favor of that right so of course i mean if i was forced as you know i mean if i felt forced as a citizen of course i would you know vote for human rights and but that's just me um but i would have honestly probably just sat it out i would have probably just sat out this election because also here the dark things that go on and just nah and also you know just from my family's point of view and how much you know they feel like it's just been unfair for our family you know personally you know having these like very strict immigration laws it's like nah they, they just feel betrayed you know so i would have probably just said it out but this is just my my take you know as a believer um i do understand like i'm not saying that if you voted you know trump that you're like an absolute like cultish you know religious like i'm not saying that i'm i mean you're probably not like me you know you're not a nurse you don't know all these things you know the very first thing you think is like oh i'm just gonna vote for you know for life right so i understand that y'all and I, I hope that we can make peace and everybody just be at peace because there's people that i really really love and care for and and respect you know and friendships that i i don't want to lose and i hate the fact that everybody's kind of just you know going their ways about it and i and, and i i do get it because it, these are very personal just very hard you know just controversial you know topics and stuff that really just affect us deep down to even our identity many times um you know racism is very personal um all that you know mistreatment and you know injustice is very personal you know um people deciding over our bodies is very personal so i can understand why people's just emotions again are just like crazy high and but um, I think we're going to have to learn how to just look above that and just find peace, you know, find peace and find that middle ground and be like, hey, you know what, we have to find a way through this because as humanity, we, we do have this ability to do that. So I pray that God helps us through that. And, you know, I was praying, I was praying to God because I did feel this call, right? And when I was feeling all these things, I got in my Bible and God gave me a psalm and he reminded me through, through, through David, um, when he was feeling like just these hard just feelings and feeling like God really just needed to come through for the poor and the needy and all this and estaba clamando a Dios, I realized that it's valid to feel the way that we feel. It's valid to be angry. It's valid, you know, to everybody's, you know, entitled to their feels and their experiences as well, right? Because like I said, my experience is probably something I pray nobody ever lives. I pray nobody ever, ever, ever lives anything that I for real y'all because nobody should have to and this right and this even the reason why i'm so vulnerable when i share my story over and over and over again so somebody can learn off of me and i do it because you know we we don't have to pain like that we can for real learn from other people's mistakes so all this just goes to say that i was hurting and you know god just told me hey just pray i just want you to pray i want you to intercede i want you to yes speak up and lift up your voice for those that don't have one you know and this is a small platform i consider this to be a small platform but whoever does hear my voice i just want you to be able to at least understand those of us right that are gonna be or that have been separated uprooted because that's what it feels like you feel like you're literally uprooted and uh, but you know what i have faith that it's all gonna work for the best i pray i pray to god that all of our governments are ready to really just receive whoever needs to be received and just make a better and greater nation of our own nations because man shoot if there's a sole reason why i do this is to make mexico great again or 
you know yeah because we were always great um before all this nonsense and being colonized shoot i mean our ancestors really had it y'all look back on our mexican you know mexica history we are some smart motherfuckers y'all we are <laughs> We're some just legit trabajadores. Like we have everything. We have culture. We have man, riches, everything. We have everything to succeed. So why are we so scared? Like if you're a person, you're being, man, if you're feeling like you're scared and everything, man, don't be afraid, man. Now more than ever, and I, I'm telling you, you have to believe me as a deportee has been here, man, 20 years. Um, uh, 2025 is going to be 20 years. I got deported in summer of 2005 and i can tell you out of all this time that i've been here this is the best time to be here now is the best time to be here you know some of us took the l and shoot <laughs> made our ways through and and are now here telling you how to go about it so you could come out here and really just have it a lot more easy because even the government now is going to make it easier for you y'all don't be afraid god is god is in control he's always no matter who's in government you know god is in control so y'all i hope that everybody can make uh, peace and amends and y'all we can all move forward and just pray for the best y'all all 2025 i felt it in my spirit like yeah there's gonna be hard times i do have to say that i did feel that like call like jeremiah to announce that yeah we're gonna see hard times ahead but god is gonna be in control and we're just gonna be staying prayed up you know for all the families y'all so i i wish you guys best i hope you guys have a blessed week too and if this is the first time watching me um go on and su subscribe and and like hopefully you guys um can connect a little more to my stories y'all be story timing i i still have some stuff that i wrote down that i need to um get on here and like share y'all so anyways i hope you guys have a blessed week y'all and um i'll see you guys soon bye